Hello there and welcome back to yet another reality show review. So today we are going to be reviewing a quite a fresh reality TV. It is a called a forever maybe. It consists of four beautiful couples that are married. I'm going to say that are um, currently married, you guys. And um, they are basically seeking counseling and intense therapy so that they can sort of like rekindle their relationship and get it back to what it used to be before all the fights and all the issues and the dramas that they are now finding themselves in. So it is hosted by Ule Rato Keiji as well as Ule Ndilani who acts as their psychologist and will basically be advising them and counseling them you guys for approximately 10 weeks they will be staying at this hotel and will basically be away from home and their kids just so they can get that spark back butterflies you guys so i'm just going to focus on Anelisa and Uskumbuzo mainly because they are the two that are currently trending right now everybody is talking about Anelisa and Uskumbuzo these two have been married for eight years and um, have been seeing one another for 16 years and divorced for two years and are still currently staying together now of course everybody was just shocked at the fact that how can you be guys how can you basically be divorced and staying under one roof? That's mainly because Annelisa's mom passed away and unfortunately it was during the COVID time. So they were, they found themselves stuck together because of the COVID-19 regulations. And they thought to themselves, we might as well just work things out because, you know, now you guys, let me tell you something. Annelisa does share that. This guy, basically this guy, because he has been abusing her emotionally for the past 16 years. Now, even the family has jumped into this train of abusing Anilisa because they actually know about his side chick of 10 years. Furthermore, Uti, she feels like she has to buy their love as umdenikasi kumbuzo yigats. She literally has to go out of her way to ensure that as and this is tiring for her because on the other hand they do not have her back furthermore even the husband does not have her back he is the type of guy who doesn't mind siding with the side chick Uma or Annelisa Etola something on his phone. He's the type of husband that does not mind siding with his sisters or even mother should anything go back, go bad, you guys. So then Annelisa is basically sharing what Umsha Dewake has been like this for the past 16 years and Odinga Osizo also wants to know why is this guy going back to the side chick like why engam she, why engam divorce, why am anger when she wants to leave their marriage you guys this guy literally had one chance one chance to make things right with his wife but he sat there and that is why they're currently trending he sat there and said the reason as to why i keep on going back to the same girl is mainly because she's beautiful she's down to earth she's respectful but the main reason as to why i keep on going back is the kind of eggs is the kind of 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 yona i feel like i am in heaven umanginaya the things angenza zona this guy is saying this in front of his wife the disrespect you guys i think it's really true what most people say would see men when they get married they are not getting married for love they are not getting married for all the affection but they are there for sustainability and stability basically they want somebody who will be able to raise their kids for them to build their home basically give them a home and cook for them and do all these things meanwhile he goes out there he cheats with somebody that he really likes but then cannot get because raise the kids and do all these things so he basically reveals that, that that's the only reason as to why a pindela gule side chick of 10 years because we am gulisa embedded you guys and unfortunately Annelisa said there and literally broke down and said this is this is literally episode two guys and she's like i cannot take it anymore i cannot do this anymore how are you gonna sit here and talk about to when i work so hard 
when I work so hard to cover you, to ensure that whenever you go back to your home, people see you as in daughter at auto. I make sure that I cover you financially. I work so hard, not only for myself, for you and the kids, to ensure that our bukeke as umuntu onunu when you go out there. It's because of my hard work, but you are able to sit here and tell me that the only reason as to why you go back to the same person is for Utans is something that I can also go out there and get given the chance. Do you see how unfair you are as Indo Dayami? I've worked so hard. You have a home today because I had to chip in and help you build that home. You drive a nice car today because I allow you to drive that car. Now you even go out of your way to take aside Chikiako and drive around with her in my car. At this point, you guys, I was literally just like so emotional. And I think to a certain extent, I can understand why this woman is not going to leave the marriage because she's given a lot. She has literally invested a lot. Like it's a lot. It's a lot that she's invested, Gulom Shato. And I think I can understand why she's literally holding on. You know? So she's basically out here saying that this guy is just not protective. And people are just basically saying she needs to leave. All the all the signs that the man does not love this woman are there. That this man is not attracted to Yena mainly because I'm tender, but because of what she brings to the table. This man is a gold digger. <laughs> so it's only episode two, and it's this heated, and I'm literally just crossing fingers for Annelisa to leave the marriage because wow you guys she's been through a lot and for Ama in laws I get to ill treat her like this after all she has done for them building a home for them and this is the thanks I I will receive you like honestly I cannot wait for episode three you guys what are your thoughts should she stay in the marriage because of what she's invested? Should she leave? Please do share that with me down on the comment section. And I'm definitely going to be back with the other couples and just ask me about it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye.